Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. To begin a great relationship, know what you want. Know what the needs of your body are, what the needs of your mind are. When you, and what fits well with you, there are millions of men and women. And some of them will make a good match for you and others won't. The two of you will need to be like a key in a lock, a match that works. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 266, NASDAQ's off 103, SP's off 37, gold. Gold contract down $12.40 trading at 1980 an ounce. You get silver down 44 cents, $23.17 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 78 cents, $73.69 a barrel, notes and bonds. 10 year note down seven ticks, trading 113.12. The 30 year down 13 at 126.17 in King Dollar. King Dollar's on the move, up 376, 103,865. The euro is at 107, the yen's at 139, the British pound is at 123 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line is that you have more selling. We actually gapped away this morning. So right now you're at 54 million, and that's after us making a high with, uh, well, the high wasn't bad. The high was at 100 million. Yeah, the high was at 100 million. That's, so that's a good high. Bottom line, you know, you gapped away. We'll see how this uh, handles the bottom of this consolidation, which is the 402 level right now on the SPY. We're at 410 right now. I do expect you're going to see an uh, expansion of volume out here today. We're already at 54. That can bang out 70. Uh, but that being said, you're going into 67, so, you know, um, it's going to make it down to the, the bottom of this. We'll just see just how much more volatile these markets are going to get. We go into the queues. Now, you got a little different ha thing happening in the queues because the queues, the volume is expanding, finally, okay, meaning on the way down. Because we had no sellers here, you know, basically, you know, every time we were pulling back. Now, we, we did... It was, we made a high out here at 43 million, and that's a problem, because now we're down, going down with 43 million. Um, I suspect this is going to come in at about 60 million. We go to the gold contract, gold contract out here. Side, well, no, you get a lower move today. It hasn't broken the lows, though. We take a look at this. It hasn't broken the lows. I expect it's going to. You know, right now, you, you went to a price point of 2006 today. Couldn't hold it. Now you're at 1980. You had 70,000 contracts traded. You know, that's, that's not a good setup. So if we go to the XAU and the HUI, what you're going to see here, and this is where it's going to get dangerous, and the reason being, so we put this down, you got, this is a decisive break, but it's a decisive break right where we expected this to actually go. Now, here's where the question is going to come in. So you can see the XAU is already into the bar. The bar that we're talking about it was the high volume bar, which was, you know, when we were doing this, <laughs> the XAU is a lot higher, man. We were up at the 150 mark, no, 135 mark. And now, now it's making its way into this 125 mark, or 123. So when you do something like that, folks, that says that, yeah, man, you can go right to the bottom of this deal. And, you know, we very well might, which is going to be the 121 and we're at 123 right now. We go to the uh, Gold Bugs Index. This is just making its way down here. I suspect before we close out, more than likely we're going to see it hit. So we take a look at this one. Yeah, it just hit. So same setup. The number there is uh, 244.59. And we hit uh, 244.93 thus far. Um, we'll see how that handles it. If we go to the GDX and we take a look at the GDX, the, G, the GDX, the good thing of looking at the GDX is that it does have volume. So what you see in the GDX is that we're taking out a B point, but it's not going to have a volume for an ABC down. That being said, the numbers that we were looking at in the GDX, okay, 
that's starting to dig into that number also, which is that that's the 3106, and we're at 3083. So now what that sets up, that sets up the bottom of that number, which ends up being the 2926. That's how this thing's set up, man. So, and where are we going with this? Well, let's see. We're going right to the dollar, man. This dollar's on the move. And what we have with the dollar right now, it finally, you know, came off the bottom. You know, had a big base, came off the bottom. Your first swing point on the dollar is that 105, 286. But when we take this, and we'll just put this, let's say, in a... What I'm just looking for is the last real leg down. So that's where I'm getting the 106, by the way. See, the 106 is the 0 .382 from the highs to the lows. Uh, so I suspect we just missed it the last time. I, I suspect this time we're going to get it. You know, so we'll see how it handles it. And, you know, if we get higher than 106, it's going to be really a problem. That's, that's the bottom line because, you know, yes, we have the debt ceiling talks. The bottom line is that we're coming after Memorial Day. You know, we'll see, we'll see how this whole thing shakes out because, you know, you get the aspect of the House members are on vacation as of tomorrow. And guess what, folks? It's Memorial Day. Okay, so House members and Memorial Day, there's huge amounts of, you know, parade celebrations across the country. They're going to be going home. So we'll see how this thing shakes out, you know. And then... You know, you have the deal that McCarthy had, you know, in order to get the speakership, he said that, okay, bottom line, he'd give his members three days to read a bill. And then on top of that, it only takes one person in the Republican caucus to turn around and say, okay, I want to re-vote on McCarthy. So there's a lot of different dynamics that are happening in this negotiation versus the one that was in 2011. You certainly didn't have, you know, on the table that the speaker may lose his position <laughs> Uh, I'll have to go to get a vote again if, in fact, he can't get something negotiated that they feel that, uh, you know, they're not going to basically have another, basically, bloodbath inside the uh, House of Representatives. Dow, Dow Industrials right now trading down 247, Nasdaq's down 94, S&P's off 34. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.